Today's video is going to be breaking down an offensive play from the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and today we're going to be bringing you our New Orleans offensive scheme. Today we're taking a look at our base play. What we like to do with the base play is it's a play we like to use to come out in every play to give us a quick read of the defense, able to tell man zone, and also able to maybe take advantage of some of the basic coverages you're going to see online. Uh, so what we like to use in New Orleans is the formation tight offset a tight end and we're using the Cowboys this week uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and get Tony Romo in the game because we need him for Madden purposes uh, of course um, and what we like to do is like to place Terrence Williams here in the slot I like to have Cole Beasley here and then Des Bryant of course on this side I like to put Dunbar in the game when using the Cowboys this year Randall's also a pretty good option so um, but anyways guys the base play the play that we want to come out in every single play um, for this offense, or excuse me, for this defensive scheme is the play drive out. Okay, now this is the play that we're going to be utilizing um, a lot this year, and I really, really like this play, and there's a couple of reasons why, but first and foremost, we want to go ahead and get all our quick audibles out of the way. First of all, we have our nice inside zone to Joseph Randall we can easily take and check down into this. What I like to do is I do a lot of motion in this scheme, and so sometimes I like to motion Des Bryant across the formation, snap once he's in the guard, he's going to get a nice lead block upfield for me, and, uh, and try to take advantage of that. Now, I do notice that the inside zone is more of an out outside zone type run this year uh, and so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want it's going to be more of an off tackle than an inside zone just wanted to clarify that for you um, not really going to be able to cut this run back this year um, they've done a really good job revamping the running system and so we don't you know we like to snap just Bryant and get a nice seal here still there and then run the ball in the alley with Joseph Randall for big yardage so that's what we like to do with the inside zone just a quick audible down P.A. Seams is another option. Uh, what I like to do is obviously take Cole Beasley, bring him across formation, take Randall, put him on an option route, and that is a nice play you can utilize to beat the zone coverage. You can check down to Randall. Oftentimes that's going to be a really good route for you to check down to. So those are a couple of the quick audibles. Now let's hop into the base play uh, and this drive out. What we like to do with this play is like to take Williams here, motion him over to the left side, or excuse me, to the right side of the screen. Uh, I know what you're going to see is going to be on a nice inverted streak type post route. And what we want to first show you is against man coverage, um, our first read on the play is always going to be Randall. And if they're in man coverage, we're going to be able to pass this out to the right and Randall's going to be able to get upfield and be one-on-one -on -one with safety more likely. He's going to be able to beat his man to the outside and he's going to be able to get some pretty good gains for you. Um, the next thing we like to see here on, and there's really no hot routes to this play either, which is nice, um, but the next route that we want to look to is this route to Cole Beasley. You see this out route does a good job at beating man uh, to the outside there as, as you can see. The third route we're going to look to on this play is the route to Des Bryant crossing over the middle. This is going to give you a really good opportunity to beat man coverage as well. And what you're going to see is Des Bryant is a delayed drag, and it's going to get really good positioning uh, against the man coverage. So you can really take advantage of his open, you know, his open field speed and strength uh, to really take advantage of the defense. The third, the fourth route we're going to look to on this play is the route to Jason Witten. So we're going to look right, left, middle, and then we're going to he see Jason Witten coming over the middle, and uh, and he's going to normally be able to. Be his man. Now the only time you're going to be able to throw the route to Williams is if they start taking their safeties and trying to come down and take advantage of this underneath, all the underneath stuff we're doing. In that case, what we're going to have is we're going to have Williams on this skinny post deep going over the middle of the field. We like to pass lead that to the left and you see he's going to beat his man uh, over the middle of the field there. Normally he'll be matched up with the linebacker which is obviously a mismatch uh, against most defenses. So that's what we like to do with this play uh, and those are the progressions as far as it concerns man-to-man -man coverage. Here we'll show you that the safety's back though. It's a little bit harder. I mean we still are able to complete it but Rolando McLean's able to knock the ball out of our hands um, and really take advantage of that. So that's the reads against man. Uh, again, zone is the same progression, but normally you're going to have different people open, as, as you could probably uh, guarantee. Randall's route, you can actually complete it against the cover three for, you know, a really, and what we like to do is pass lead it to the right. Um, but, like I said, it's not something you always want to throw. Um, but against, you know, basic coverages, basic zones that are going to have flat zones, you are able to complete this if you pass lead it to the right. But again, you know, you want to be throwing to more open receivers than that. Uh, and so that's really not what we're going to be looking to get in the zone. This play is primarily designed to beat man, I will be honest with you. Uh, but what you'll see here is this route to Cole Beasley. Um, not going to be, it's not going to be too bad. I mean, we can kind of sneak that in as well. Uh, against most zone coaches, you're going to be able to kind of sneak it in. But I wouldn't recommend throwing it. What I'd recommend doing is if you face a zone coverage, looking 
throwing to Des Bryant or Jason Witten. Des Bryant, as you see here, is going to cross over the middle of the field. And sometimes he's going to be the guy. I mean, normally it's like cover two sink or cover four. Um, Des Bryant's going to be your guy. But against cover three, where we're really going to target is uh, Jason Witten. And what you're going to see here is Jason Witten's going to cut over the middle of the field, be able to split the defenders in the middle, and able to really uh, get some nice yardage there. Uh, and then finally, we have Terrence Williams, our last reading. And what you're going to see here is against zone coverages, especially like cover four in that. Uh, he's actually not too bad. You see, with a pass lead to the left, he's going to get in a really tender area of the zone and able to kind of, you know, make his way against the zone. So that is the play. Um, Saint, or is it drive out? I think it is called drive out. Yep, it is called drive out. That's what we like to come out in every time. Mainly for this route to the running back, this is one of the better routes in the game this year. Same route from split close, and it's very effective in gun tight offset. So that is the gun tight offset breakdown, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is what we're going to come out in every single play. Uh, it's going to give us a nice tail main zone because it's a compressed set, and it's also going to do a couple of other things for us for the offense. So really enjoy this formation. I think it's one of the more underrated formations. Don't see very many people running it this year and i think it may be worth a look so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoy this and you want to see more advanced offensive breakdowns check out my offensive ebook in which we break down the shotgun snugs from arizona cardinals offensive playbook uh, specifically uh, similar to this tight offset and then all sorts of other formations uh, for you to take advantage of if you're looking to get better in offense uh, in madden 16 i recommend that offensive guide so only ten dollars right now so think think for uh uh, you know, uh, just a small fee, you're going to be able to get some really good plays. And so I hope you enjoy that guide. So far, we've got, um, so, so far, we've got uh, a, a lot of good.